Historical Sites in Virginia on a Budget. Williamsburg, welcome to the world's largest U.S. history museum. Discover the diverse stories of people inspiring a revolution. One thing that we might want to know about, let's see, we have to learn more about this. Look at that. You can go around and there's people that are visible. You can go to historic site, governor's palace, historic site, capital, historic site, public armory, all this in Williamsburg. Art museum of colonial Williamsburg. You know, just what do we know about history? This is a great way for both you and your kids to bone up on your history. Special events, seasonal activities. We have teaching, homeschool days, Constitution Day. Let's see what Constitution Day is. Do they celebrate it? And uh, let's see, adopt the United States Constitution September 17th, 2023 coming up. <laughs> All right. That is some of the events, but let's check out the ticket prices. What are some of the best prices and ways to do this? We're going to spend a little bit more time on Williamsburg because there's more tickets and more ways to do these. Single day ticket, you have adults for 49 bucks, youths for $28.99. For about $10 more, you can get a multi-day three-day ticket. Now, what do you do if you're planning on going for four days? Well, then you get an annual pass. And it's not that expensive for an annual pass. Now, one of the things I did notice, and I'm going to point out here, is we offer several admission options to customize. Get tickets online for 100% touchless tickets, or stay at our renowned official hotel properties located walking distance from the historic area and you'll receive up to two complimentary length of stay admission tickets when you book your stay directly through the Colonial Williams Resorts. Good neighbor pass for Virginia residents, I think it is and art museums you might check out this chat thing right here below me and ask them some questions because it does get a little confusing on the ticket pricing uh summer bounce ticket i guess that's for all summer long now this is a good deal if you live in virginia and you plan to do a lot of checking out of all the sites and fall bounce ticket then we have the museum family membership, museum individual membership, and then places to check out. You can fire a flintlock, musket, haunted house in Williamsburgs, uh, sales and special prices. Let's see, we got sales and special prices too, special offerings. All right, now hotels, they ain't cheap. <laughs> letting you know, know that right now here are the i think this is yeah these are the properties you have the williamsburg inn you have the williamsburg Lo uh, lodge williamsburg woodlands griffin hotel and the colonial houses i could just go off of here and these look kind of interesting the traditional sunday brunch you might be staying in the area and not staying at one of these resorts, and I'll show you in just a second why, but you might check out the brunch. A lot of times hotels, even though you're not staying there, you can go to their brunch, and why else would they have it online? Now, these are the prices at the, uh, I can't remember which one, <laughs> but anyways, this is just, I think it was the Colonial um, the Williamsburg Inn. Okay, Williamsburg Inn. And the best available rate is $489 a day. Now, when you add in the fact that you're getting a ticket for free, two tickets for free, um, that's not bad, but uh, it's still 
It's not $79.99 a week, a day. This is a way to get your kids more interest in history. I wasn't as a kid. Jamestown. The Jamestown Settlement also is a museum, basically. And the one ticket that I did want to point out is this triangle. All right. This is the one. The triangle ticket, that is good. You get seven consecutive days and you can go all over the place with Jamestown, Williamsburg, and Yorktown. Get a historical triangle ticket. Indians, they're working at making a canoe. This is the oldest English settlement, or it was the first successful English settlement in the United States. First one to stick. Extend your visit. American Revolution combined tickets. They have a lot of videos that you can watch also for entertainment and education for your kids. Building of a dugout canoe. It was just part of the video. These are the ticket prices in on the Jamestown site. They aren't any different, really. And there's the multi-attraction multi tickets. $119, and that's for a week for adults. Now, for kids, it's only $15 for the 6 to 12-year-olds. And let's see if they, let's see, 6 to 15, the triangle ticket is $53 for kids. And those are all of the ticket prices, basically for all three of the places. You have the store, which is online, which you can pick up various books and other artifacts, probably even have merch, uh, yeah, food, etc., jewelry, you name it. George Washington's Mount Vernon is also in Virginia. And this is the estate. You can plan your visit. Go here and let's see how we plan our visit. $28, not bad for adults. $16, I mean $15 for 6 to 11, and under that they are free. Free is good for me and you. Then we have the Jefferson Monticello. Let's see what buying tickets here is. Now the, the George Washington's uh, Mount Vernon, that, that's pretty much a day type of thing. And the same thing with the, um, right here with Monticello, that's a day thing, something that you would do for one day and then move on. Maybe even stop along the way somewhere, you know, if you're going uh, from north to south or east to west or west to east, which one is best? I don't know. Buy tickets. $95, mornings and afternoon. Monticello might be a little bit more expensive than other places, but you get a tour, which is 90 minutes along with that. I clicked on the tour. I didn't click on the, uh, that was a behind the scenes thing. Let's see what the just admission is. Hmm. I had it, but I don't have it now. Plantation and walkthrough. Free. There you go. Ages seven and up. So you can actually go to the archaeology walking tour and go for free. Arlington National Cemetery. There is free admission to the National Cemetery. I don't know about parking. You just have to be respectful of the grounds and also the fact that you're in a cemetery. A lot of history behind that. A lot of famous people are buried in Arlington National Cemetery. You can take a tour, 1950 for the Arlington Cemetery. A sobering experience more than anything for me going to cemeteries. 